Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to bind the new Radio Master Pocket Radio to the FT Tiny Whoop. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to bind this to our FT Tiny Whoop, but the same process here is pretty much gonna be able to work on our FT Guardian V2. Now this pocket radio is a new transmitter out in the market. It is absolutely incredible with its power and its features. Now the specific model that we're using here is a model that's specifically meant for D8, D16 mode. Because this is Edge TX, this process is gonna be the same on whether you're doing a Zorro, a TX16, or anything else running the Edge TX protocol. Also, the first thing we're gonna do after installing our batteries is we're gonna power this on with a long press of the main power button. Welcome to Edge TX. From that point on, everything with the Edge TX is pretty uniform here. We're gonna hold down a long press on the model, MDL button, and you're gonna notice it gives us four pre-programmed models. If you scroll down to number two, you're gonna see FPV drone. A simple push down on the rolly ball here will open this up and we can select it. Now the beautiful thing about this is with the FPV drone, if I page over, you're going to see that our mixes are already pre-programmed to pretty much exactly what's become very standard in the industry and it's also what we use both on the Tiny Whoop and the Guardian. That's where SA, which is this button on the very top here, is our arm. The next one over is our rates mode. So if your model's using different rates from Acro to Horizon, you can go ahead and switch from that. The next one's gonna be our beeper, and the final one is gonna be flip over after crash. So basically, these four top buttons give you everything you need, and it's right at your fingertips and incredibly convenient. So we don't need to do any programming on this. I'm gonna go ahead and simply return out of this, hold down on the model button. We're gonna scroll over one page, and from this point on, we can scroll to where we see internal model. So here we see internal RF mode, it's turned off currently. We're gonna roll this over to multi. And from that point on, you're gonna see that we're defaulted to fly sky. Let's go ahead and select that and let's roll this over until we see FR sky. FR sky model D, there we go. Subtype is D8, that's perfect. And then we're gonna go down to where we see bind. From this point now that we've seen bind, we can set our transmitter down. We have our tiny whoop right here. I'm just gonna pull the battery out out of convenience here. And we got a barbecue skewer. Anytime that we're pressing any kind of buttons on a power board or a flight control board, make sure you don't use something metal so you don't accidentally short it out and damage your board. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. I got a charge battery here. And you're gonna see that I have a red flashing light. I'm gonna hold this with a USB port facing down, and if I go to my upper right here, you're gonna see a little tiny button right here. All I simply need to do is press this down for about three seconds. There we go. And you'll see this red light's turn solid. Now that that red light's turned solid, I can go back to where my bind button is. I'm gonna press this down one time. We should see this flashing in just a second. There we go. And it should go solid. And now it's solid. At this point, I can unplug my battery. I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall it. I'm gonna sit this down flat on the desk here. You should say telemetry covered. Perfect. If you haven't already, go ahead and return out of it to the main screen. And let's go ahead and test out our functions here. Our first function is gonna be our arm button. My, my throttle's all the way down and when I press it, The arm works great. The second button is gonna be our rates mode. Now this is locked into basically angle mode, which is gonna give you the ability to not flip over. And this is really a good feature to start out as a beginner. You can always go into beta flight later and change that configuration on what you like. You have a three position switch that you'll be able to do so with. The next one's gonna be our beeper. That works. And our final one is flip over after crash. So imagine a situation where you're flying and you bump into something and you're upside down. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is disarm. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is press down on this aux four, which is your upper right hand button here. You'll even see on this transmitter uh, well, that's transparent, it even glows a little bit red. Now we can rearm. And when I push over all the way to the left, right, forward or backward, I can flip over. Once we're flipped over, I can disarm flip over after crash. and then I can cycle back on, rearm, and enjoy flying. 
And that is pretty much it, friends. Now, the really cool thing about this pocket radio is this configuration, even if it doesn't use all these features, is gonna be compatible with also our Guardian V2 and many other drones that you bind this with. So you don't need to make new models for every single drone. You can simply leave it on FPV drone, use these switches as long as you're happy with them, and enjoy flying. Friends, I wanna thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. I wanna thank you for following along and building with me in this video. Can't wait to see you in the next one.